Hey guys, welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. I'm Matt. Today on the Collector's Corner, we've got an interesting species highlight. I'm staring directly into the sunlight, but luckily for me, just like Superman, I get my powers from the sun. <laughs> make sure you, I'm Tim. Make sure to like, subscribe, and make sure you share this video with your gardening friends. Today, we're bringing you a highlight on a really amazing plant, the three flower maple, the shaggy bark maple, Acer Triflorum. Okay, I'm a huge fan of Acer Triflorum. It's an exceptionally durable plant. This one works zones four through eight. I've heard excellent things about its cold hardness in zone four, but also its heat tolerance in zone eight. So this is an exceptionally durable member of that uh, three flower maple section. You know, this is in that same section with Acer Grissium and Acer Nicoense or Acer Maxawasicum. Love this plant. Definitely has that trifoliate leaf, which is very unusual on the leaves. But the thing that makes this thing extremely awesome is that shaggy bark. It really has that gray brown exfoliating bark that just really adds something extra to it out there in the landscape. Gives it some good winter interest. But I mean, we're here in October and you see this fall colors coming on. It really gives some really nice yellows and oranges in the fall. Really makes a nice tree out there in the landscape. I remember seeing some of the ones out there at the Arnold Arboretum mm -hmm. out in fall color. We had the Maple Society meeting up in Boston. A amazing plant. Love this plant. It's a plant that's really unusual, really different. We offer it from time to time on Mr. Maple for sold out currently. You can go to Acer Triflorum, actually click on the, where it says notify me, type in your email, and you'll be notified when this tree becomes available again. Now this makes a great pairing with Acer Grissium, which has that more cinnamon bark, exfoliating style bark. Now this is gonna be similar in leaf, but have a very nice pairing with that shaggy bark to it. We actually have an Acer Grissium right here behind Tim. Hadn't quite started fall color, but it makes an excellent planting near Acer Triflorum. I'm a huge fan of this plant. We have offered a golden form of this for, uh, before, Acer Triflorum Arium. So there are getting to be some different cultivars of this one out there. I believe Tom Cox even has a selection of this. We're gonna be doing a, a walkthrough of the Tom Cox Arboretum soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. Maybe we'll focus on some of his really interesting Acers as well. And we have a dwarf hybrid form of this that we'll be offering at some point. It's in the Area 51 collection at Mr. Maple. We love Acer Triflorum for what it does from the bark to the fall color. It makes a good mid-sized tree. Once it gets established, it can grow about a foot and a half to two feet of growth in a year, reaching 15 to 20 feet in 10 years. It lights up the landscape in the fall. I mean, when you see this thing go into those yellows infused with oranges, mm -hmm. it, it just, it's a pure beauty. I know you mentioned the yellows, but I've had this just knock my socks off for orange fall color before. That's some of my favorite stages. Often yellows early to oranges late. We're just kind of getting into it a little bit here. Maybe we'll come catch this one again as it gets into peak fall color. But I've seen this one get to a blaze orange, which is just incredible, accentuated by that shaggy exfoliating bark. Uh, it's an awesome Acer species. You know, often as collectors, we think of Japanese maples as the specific things in section Palmata. Now this is one from China, but it makes an excellent ornamental tree that you're gonna definitely wanna add to your landscape. Thank you all for watching today's video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Go make sure you find us on your favorite podcast platform too. Every Sunday we have a new podcast coming out on the Mr. Maple Show. Let us know if you'd like more species related content here on the channel too. Guys, we love to geek out on Acer species. Now we normally talk about cultivars here on the Collector's Corner, but we're huge geeks for Acer species as well. Let us know in the comment section below if you'd like to see more content on Acer species. We love that kind of stuff as well. It's amazing how much we still are growing in the Acer Palmatum realm but then we've realized there are so many other plants out there too that can give you an excellent ornamental appeal in the landscape that may be outside of section palmetta. And this is definitely one of those trees that fits in that box. If you like videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And thank you all so much for watching. Take care. God bless. Have a great day.